Hey guys, Cosmos here. I'm back with some Marvel Heroes discussion. Our topic today is, now that you've leveled your hero to 60, what do you do now? Until rating is added, sometimes it feels like there isn't much endgame once you get to max level. However, this game is rich with possibilities already. So here are my level 60 recommendations, just for you. Number 1. Level and Alt. This game is mostly about alts at the moment. If you're level 60, chances are you have a few other heroes lying around that you haven't even tried yet. If not, you can definitely afford to get one by now with Eternity Splinters. You can get a random hero for 175 splinters, or a specific hero for several hundred. If you're not sure who to pick, a good place to start is checking out the synergy bonuses, see if there's anything that you like there, or you could go watch some of my other videos and get an idea of playstyles of different heroes. Number two, perfect your gear. Because trading is pretty much impossible in Marvel Heroes, this means farming. A good place to start is to try collecting all your hero's unique items. Rare item find is the stat you need for this. You can get it on item slots 4 and 5, also on your costume core, and there are two hero synergies right now that give you 5% each. Those are Deadpool at level 25 and Gambit at level 50. If you pop a potion on top of both of those, you can easily get over 100% rare item find. You should also farm up some overpowered artifacts for your hero. For this you need special item find instead of rare item find, and they drop pretty frequently. Finding the ones you want and with the best rolls will take you much longer, and you might turn into a hoarder like me, fill your whole stash with artifacts. Number 3. Level a Legendary. Legendary items cost 300 Odin Marks, so you'll have to spend some time doing Legendary quests first. Legendaries are super powerful and become more so as you level them. There are 11 different ones currently, so find one that fits your playstyle and get to work. This takes way longer than leveling your character, so it should keep you busy. Also, it makes experience orbs relevant again at level 60. Number 4. Play PvP? This is last on the list because PvP is just not very fun at the moment. It's still in beta and it sounds like they're working very hard on it, but currently it's pretty imbalanced and doesn't involve a lot of strategy. It really involves a lot of off-screen one-shots. However, it can be a nice change of pace and you can get some shiny, unique rings, but that's about it for rewards. Look for PvP to be more fun in the future. Well that's all for today guys, this should keep you busy until we get to start raiding. If you have other ideas for end game activities, let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.